Then when that nigga uh, found it off and hit that damn wall, and his arm went through the uh, bust that thing and uh, it made a big old boom noise. <laughs> knocked the bricks out of the goddamn wall, right? <laughs> Shit was floating in her eyes. I didn't know it was a baby towel. I thought it was pregnant or female. Right. Bitch, I'm a Zenny. She don't understand it. I took her to Miami. Now she got a big old bag. Got a chair that shit so fatty. She gon' call me Subi. Yo! Eddieville didn't have a dress code. You can, we, we can wear our own clothes then. The sisters can come out with thongs and bikinis and panties and all this shit. You know, and motherfuckers were laying around kissing and shit. So, I'm like, what the fuck they got me at, man? <laughs> and, um, <coughs> so, everybody stirred at me and I kept hearing the word nigga, nigga this, nigga that. Maybe he not gay, and bro. Man, all these blacks down there, and they tolerating this shit. I said, man, the first time one of them called me a nigga, I'm going to show them what type of nigga I really am. Right? I'm a bad ass nigga. You know. And so I ignored it. And the second day, I get in the fight right there in the kitchen. They had some old bullshit out that uh, can't nobody eat cheese. If you eat cheese, you a rat. They had that bullshit out then. Them and niggas ain't let you eat cheese. They have hamburgers around. You know, put cheese on. When nobody get the cheese. Bro, imagine niggas telling you you can't eat cheese because it make you a rat. No cheese, bro. So I told the man, I said, I ain't know nothing about the shit. So I said, uh, can I get some cheese? He gave me a whole block of it. He said, yes, you can. So when I sent it at the table, my trade, my friend from uh, LaGrange, the other prison, he said, man, get that off your table, man. You eat that shit, everybody gonna think you're a red. I said, fuck them. Oh. What the fuck I want to eat. Now, Fleece was a menace. And I heard a table. Hold on, I know I just saw this nigga's head shake. I can't, I can't skip past that. I heard a table. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. And I heard a table. Bro, hold on, bro. My bad, my bad, my bad. I just gotta. I know y'all saw this nigga school. Hold on, we gotta slow it down. I want y'all to look real close. And I heard a Damn! <laughs> Bro, he looked like one of them niggas off uh, Battle Block Theater, bro. Somebody kept saying, man, man, man. I said, who the fuck is saying that? So I looked over and seen a group of white guys looking right at me. And when I seen that red come out of his mouth, he went over and, 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 and just swung on the whole table. <laughs> Everybody. So I went to the hole. So the guards, man, thought this was going to, like a white guard, they was racist. So... They said, we're going to put you back. You know, we went in front of the Justice Committee. They said, we're going to let you out of the hole. And I guess they thought I wasn't going to come back there. And yeah, I came out, and it was an old black man. He said, I don't know who you are. I mind what you did. I'm too old to fight. He said, but take it. You don't need it. He gave me a butcher knife. I took it. This some main character movie shit. Like, yo. I already know they coming from me, right? So, I just took off running straight towards them with the knife in my hand. I said, fuck it. You know, they might kill me, but I'm taking some motherfuckers out with me. So you doing this at 17, 18 years old? Yeah, I ran straight towards them. And then when I got almost up on them, they was hollering, hey, yo, yo, ho, slow down, bro. Slow down, man. We ain't come to fight. They say, man, we don't know who put that shit out, man, but I've been eating cheese 
all my life, I ain't no goddamn vet, this and that. So it was the first Cap. situation I had to go into straight now. That's when my name got established. So now they gonna put me in the cell. So they know who Fleece is at that point. Yeah. So so they put me in the cell with this big old black motherfucker. They call him Doc, Big Doc. Boy, this motherfucker look like shit. King Kong. Was <laughs> he had a big old his nose was about the size of my fist. He had a big old nose, red eyes, and he was a big motherfucker with big fingers and shit. He just looked like he was just made to fight, yeah. you know, like a gladiator type motherfucker. So I'm in a cell with him. They had double cells then. I stopped that long. I'll tell you about that. Mm -hmm. Well, this motherfucker, that's the one I was telling people about it. He had that hole in the wall. Yeah, that was to... Hold on, this nigga punching holes in uh, uh, prison walls? Uh, uh, trick the... The yeah, younger people, right? Yeah, go go yeah, ahead, go yeah. ahead and tell us about that, cause yeah, he had a hole in his wall. See what he did? It was a hole in his wall, so he took a little balloon thing and put some baby powder in it and blowed it up to where it swelled up. So he pressed it into the hole, stuck it in it, and then it took bro, it. jail got the most creative niggas of all time, bro. I know y'all seen those TikToks, so they be making. It was like, bro, it was something. This nigga had a can and boiling water. He literally made some... Was it noodles? This nigga was making noodles from... Bro, it's all sorts of stuff, bro. Niggas cooking full course meals with just raw materials. It's crazy. A sheet of paper and put some cement on it. And when it hardened, he taped it over the hole and then painted it over it where it looked like you know, the regular wall and shit, right? I didn't know the shit was up. Mm. So he started talking crazy and shit. He got to fuck something, all this old shit. He got a what? Fuck something. <laughs> he got to fuck something, all this old shit. He got a what? Fuck something. Nah, this is wild, bruh. Oh, okay, he trying to get somebody to mess he with. Like he was trying to fuck me. So <laughs> that's what his man was all right. He was trying to fuck me, right? Yeah. So about that time, the door opened. We went out for child, right? So I was telling some of my friends out there, man, this big black motherfucker. And so they gave me a little knife, a little blue knife. Because the, the butcher knife I used on the other incident, I had to get rid of that because if they caught me with it, they was going to charge me with it, you know, uh, uh, outside charge. Mm -hmm. So I got another knife. So I went back in the the thing, so this nigga put on a pair of shorts. They had a lot of holes in it. Where, where, whenever he walks, his shit will pop out of one of the holes. Yo! He put it back in his drawers and come out of one of the holes. They had a lot of holes in it. Where, where, whenever he walks, his shit will pop out of one of the holes, right? And he'll put it back in his drawers. And I'm like, I said, this is a nasty ass nigga right here. But I ain't gonna lie, I was, I was afraid. I, I was actually afraid, and then when that nigga uh, sounded off and hit that damn wall, and his arm went through there and bust that thing, and it made a big old boom noise. <laughs> knocked the bricks out of the goddamn wall, right? <laughs> shit was floating in the air. I didn't know it was baby power. I thought it was pregnant or semen. Right. <laughs> you thought it's... Yo, this nigga's fleece is funny, man. <laughs> Fist was that Yeah, one. and his arm was white and shit. And I'm like, and he run up on me. <laughs> do, do I gotta fight you, nigga? <laughs> I'm like, shit. <laughs> what the fuck I'm gonna do? This nigga gonna give him some good ass, right? <laughs> and uh, I wasn't thinking about fight. I was like, man, if I'm gonna let this nigga penetrate me, man, you know. And he made one mistake. Cause when I moved, that little knife, cause I already hit that knife, it stuck my leg, right? Mm -hmm. It brought me back to my senses. Nigga, you got a knife right here. Man, I gripped that mother, I'm left handed, but I gripped that with my right hand, right? Cause mm -hmm. it was sitting on my right side. Right. And I ain't had time to switch it over to the left, right? Mm -hmm. So I just came up with it, slap, 
and just ripped all that open, right? Oh, bro, they cut him good. Like, Ooh, in the stomach, though. He ran to the door. God, God. So I ran him back over and hit his ankles and shit, right? Bum, bum. Down to his guy. And I stabbed the shit out of him, right? Mm -hmm. And then I the door killed family that came up to him, to the cell. They was telling me I done backed all the way up to the back uh, by the toilet, and they like it's gonna be high. Just put the, put the put the mic down, put it down. I was shaking and everything, man. Right. Blood everywhere. Bro, that's this is some <laughs> yeah. Why he look like that? But I was going to say, it's some anime shit, bro. Because he just happened to run into some old nigga that said, hey, you might need this all in the future. And he just gave him the knife. And that was a whole plot point, bro. What? I finally gave them the knife. They took this nasty nigga. And they transferred him. I don't know if he died or what. I went to the hole. They did the same thing and let me out. They ain't even give me an outside choice for that because they know what type of motherfucker he was. He, he was one of them type. That, that nigga was dangerous. Right. So, then everything started going good. You know, people start thinking twice before they try me. And I, uh, I kept seeing these sissies. <laughs> All right, bro. That's it. <laughs> hey, we we kind of high on time. I'm gonna have to cut it some. Uh, I'm gonna cut out some boring parts. <clears throat> but shit, part two coming right up. But. Like and subscribe for more content. <clears throat> for more content, but I mean, even if y'all don't, I'm still finna drop a another one tomorrow. So I'll catch y'all.